Disney Lorcana has five different rarities, minus Special Art Enchanted. There's Common, Uncommon, Rare, Super Rare, and Legendary. In this Portal Wheel speedrun, I'm going to see how many games it will take to go from a Commons only, to Commons and Uncommons, to Commons, Uncommons, and Rare, all the way up to being able to use any rarity and get a win. Can I do it in five games, or will it take much, much longer? Let's find out. Welcome to the first episode of Port of Whale Speedrun, where we will be trying to get a win today with a deck filled with only commons. To start off deck building, we first need to identify the best color of commons only. Sapphire could get us some ramp with Mickey Mouse Detective, and also has Phil Trainer of Heroes, which with his support can help us get over bigger characters. Steel gives us Challengers and Prince Eric Dashing and Brave and Captain Hook Forceful Duelist, but I think one of the best colors and commons only is Emerald. Emerald offers us evasives and Tinkerbell Most Helpful and Peter Pan Never Landing. It also has Aladdin Prince Ali with Ward to dodge targets and Megara pulling the strings to help us get over big targets. Emerald also has two decent common non-characters in Stolen Scimitar, which lets us add one strength to a character, and this effect stacks. It also offers Sudden Chill, which forces our opponents to discard a card. Our other color is what I think is the absolute best common-only color, and that is Amethyst. Because in common only, we need to get to our good cards fast. Amethyst is king, with Maleficent Sorceress and friends on the other side both letting us draw cards. Amethyst also gives us challengers like Steel with Dr. Facilier Charlatan and Jafar Wicked Sorcerer. We also get more evasives and Jetsam Ursula's Spy. Ultimately, here is the deck I built for this challenge. Adding to the cards already mentioned, we run four copies each of Duke of Wesselton Opportunistic Official and Archimedes Highly Educated Owl, which is just the standard one-cost inkable 2-2 characters. I also added Yzma Alchemist to be able to manipulate our top deck draw and Magic Broom Bucket Brigade to recycle our needed cards from the discard back to our deck. Before we get into gameplay, if you like this type of content, please leave a like and let me know in the comments how many games you think it will take for me to actually get a win with this comment only deck. Now let's jump into some games and see how many games it takes us to get a win. Looks like we are going second. We see a Jafar, Aladdin, Peter Pan, two Peter Pans, Jetsam, Duke of Wesselton, and a Magera pulling the strings. I'm going to go ahead and just get rid of that Jafar here. We see a Sudden Chill and a Stolen Scimitar. They're going to ink a Maximus. So we are going up against an Amber. It looks like Steel Amber. That's probably not great for this deck. We see a second Sudden Chill, so I'm going to go ahead and ink that. And then drop our Duke of Wesselton and pass. I ink a Mickey Mouse Musketeer. And drop a Bodyguard Simba. And they're just going to quest with Captain Hook. We see a Maleficent. And I ink our second Peter Pan. And then drop our Aladdin. And then quest with Duke of Wesselton. Up against this deck, Aladdin will be good because he won't be a smash target or a fire the cannons. He would still die to a grab your swords, but that is only one of the many options. Looks like they're going to ink a Captain Hook. And drop a LeFou. And then they are going to go ahead and quest with both of their characters. We see a friends on the other side. That's gonna be a perfect one-two combo with Maleficent. We go ahead and ink the McGarrick because they don't have anything really big on the field right now. And then drop our Maleficent to draw a card. We see a Tinkerbell. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just quest with both our characters here and pass. They are going to ink a Donald Duck Musketeer. And then drop a Musketeer Tabard. Looks like they're going to quest with all their characters and pass. We see another Megara here. I'm going to go ahead and ink this Peter Pan because we have a Tinkerbell to drop. And it doesn't matter who I give Evasive to here. And we are going to go ahead and sing Friends on the other side to see two. And then I'm going to sing Sudden Chill with our Aladdin to get them down to just one card. And then go ahead and quest with Duke of Wesselton. They are going to ink a Rapunzel. 
and then drop a Maximus Bodyguard. And then go ahead and quest with their Simba, their LeFou, and their Captain Hook. So they are out to a very good lead here. I'm gonna go ahead and drop this Stolen Scimitar so we can deal with some of their bodyguards. And drop a Megara, give Duke of Wesselton, and then the Stolen Scimitar to get it up to five. And then that way we can take out the Maximus. They will get a draw card. I'm gonna go ahead and ink this other Duke of Wesselton and then play our Archimedes, Quest with Aladdin, and Maleficent, and Tinkerbell. They have a Hercules bodyguard, and they're just going to keep questing here. And we see a Maleficent. Go ahead and drop and draw a card. We see a Dr. Facilier, which I will go ahead and drop. We'll use the Scimitar on Megara to go ahead and take out the Hercules. And again, with the Bodyguard, they'll go ahead and draw a card. And I'm going to go ahead and quest because they don't have game on board might be able to depending on their cards in hand and with Dr. Facilier I might might be able to clear their board here they're going to smash our Tinkerbell then they drop a Lilo they're just going to quest this will take them up to 19 see what we can do here on our next turn and do some math all right, we see a Jetsum, and yeah, I can't really do anything. They uh, dropped the Lilo. I wasn't even thinking. They get to 19. All they have to do is drop one character, so that was a, a big misplay on my part. I, I should have been taking out characters the last two turns, but I think this deck shows a little bit of hope. This game was definitely on me with some misplays, so I will go ahead and concede, and let's go ahead and jump into our second game here. All right, we are going to go second. See Aladdin, Duke of Wesselton, Megara, two Maleficents. Friends on the other side, Magic Broom. I'm gonna get rid of one of these Maleficents. We see a second Magic Broom. They're gonna ink a Stitch Carefree Surfer. We see a Peter Pan. Go ahead and ink our second Magic Broom and drop our Duke of Wesselton and pass. They're gonna ink a You Have Forgotten Me. The it is another Steel Amber. We see a Sudden Chill. This deck, it looks like they are running the You Have Forgotten Me, so that could be bad if we get down. i go ahead and ink the other Magic Broom. We're not going to need that early game. And drop our Aladdin. And go ahead and quest with Duke of Wesselton and pass. They're going to ink a Captain Hook. And drop a Tinkerbell Tiny Tactician. Take out our Duke of Wesselton. We see a Tinkerbell. Let's ink this Sudden Chill and play a Maleficent to draw. See another Tinkerbell. And then I'm just going to go ahead and quest and pass. They're going to ink a Prince Eric. And then they're playing a big Tinkerbell, which is not good because they're going to take out our Aladdin and then they can. Knock out our Maleficent. And then quest with Prince Eric. We see our third Tinkerbell. Go ahead and ink the Megara. And drop a Tinkerbell. And go ahead and pass. There is a You Have Forgotten Me. Go ahead and do the Peter Pan and the Friends on the other side, I think I'm just going to try and go wide with our Tinkerbells here, but they do die to smash, and they could have grab your swords. At least we do see another Peter Pan evasive, so drop another Tinkerbell, and then quest with our first one and pass. And there is a Hans. 
which is not great because when it quests, it can add damage. So that will be a way to add damage to our Tinkerbell. And they're just going to quest with their other two characters. We see a Maleficent. I'm going to go ahead and drop the Peter Pan Never Landing. And then just go ahead and quest with our Tinkerbells here. And countdown's on. I don't know if they've disconnected. I don't want to take a win on a technicality here. They did, like, did nothing. We'll go ahead and ink this Archimedes and drop our other Tinkerbell here. And then I'm just going to go ahead and quest. I was hoping I could use the Peter Pan to knock out the Tinkerbell Giant Fairy, but since they didn't do anything on their last turn, it was still unexerted. Okay, they are back. There's a Beast Hard-Headed inked. They're going to quest with Hans, then they can... Add damage to the Tinkerbell. And there goes the Grab Your Sword. That gets rid of my Peter Pan and Tinkerbell. And there's a Fire Other Cannon. So that Tinkerbell is gone. Oh boy. And they are going to quest. So let's go ahead and drop the Maleficent. Because we need to draw a card. And ink the Jetsum to get our Peter Pan out into play. But we are in top deck mode. And this Hans can just finish off the Tinkerbell here. Yep, looks like that's what they are going to do. And they are just going to quest up to 16. And I don't really have anything here. They're going to ink their aerial. I... I would need to take out the Tinkerbell, basically trade. Oh, and there's a Rapunzel to heal. So, yeah, I would have to take out the Tinkerbell trading two for one. And then they have, they'd still have six on their next turn. So, I'm going to go ahead and concede this one. That was a little bit better. It was a much better deck we were keeping up with. But let's move on to game three. Hopefully take a win here in game three. All right, we are going to go second. Got a Magira. Sudden chill, we do see our Maleficent and friends on the other side. And I think this is a pretty good starting hand, so I'm not going to mulligan at all here. They're going to ink a Prince Eric. Am I playing another Amber Steel deck here? Go ahead and ink the Yzma and play our Duke of Wesselton out. Okay, they're going to ink an Iago, so it's a Steel Emerald deck here. We... I have a good shot at the win here. And they drop a Flynn Rider. We see another Megara. Gonna go ahead and ink that one here. And then just drop a Magic Broom just to keep up tempo here. And quest and pass. They're gonna ink a Aladdin of their own here. And drop a Jasper. It looks like they're going to quest with Flynn Rider. We see another Sudden Chill. Go ahead and ink that. So that way we can drop our Maleficent to draw a card. We see another Megara. And then I'm going to go ahead and take out the Flynn Rider to discard the Megara we just drew. And then quest with Magic Broom and pass. And they ink a Kristoff. They're going to smash our magic broom. And then quest with Jasper. We'll see who they lock out here. Looks like they locked out Maleficent. And that is okay. We see a Jetsum. Which we will go ahead and ink. And then seeing friends on the other side with Maleficent. See Aladdin and a Stolen Scimitar. We will Magira to add to our Duke of Wesselton. And then drop our sword here. And then go ahead and take out the Jasper. That's a pretty nice trade here and pass. Looks like they're going to ink a Mad Hatter. They drop a Simba. I don't see that too frequently here. We see a Tinkerbell. Going to ink our Aladdin. 
and drop our Tinkerbell here. Again, doesn't matter who we give evasive to. And I'm gonna go ahead and sing Sudden Chill to put them down to one card. So we'll each have one card in hand, but we definitely have the board presence here and just go ahead and quest with Maleficent. They're gonna ink a Captain Hook, so they must have something big in hand. I have a beast. And they're gonna take out our Megara. And our turn, we see Dr. Facilier. Go ahead and drop him down because he will be challenger plus two. And we will drop the Peter Pan. Go ahead and drop the Stolen Scimitar on the Maleficent to trade with the Simba. And then quest, and we are in an excellent position because even though we're both top decking, we do have the board presence right now. They drop a Peter Pan of their own. And they are going to go ahead and quest with Beast. And we see an Archimedes, which we will go ahead and play. And I'll go ahead and give Dr. Facilier. That way we can just put three damage on the Beast here. And quest with Tinkerbell and Peter Pan and pass. We have a Dr. Facilier's cards. And they're going to go ahead and take out our Tinkerbell. And use their Dr. Facilier's cards for nothing. And then quest with Beast. 8-8, eight, eight, we see another Archimedes. We can go ahead and drop that. Then we can take out the Beast with our first Archimedes. And then quest with Peter Pan and pass. They activate Dr. Facilier's cards and then have a Mother Knows Best to bounce our Tinkerbell or our Peter Pan. And we see a second Peter Pan. So we will go ahead and drop that one back. Quest with Archimedes and pass. And they're going to use it again and just play an Aladdin. We see a Maleficent. We'll go ahead and drop that to draw a card. We see Jetsum, which is inkable, so we can ink him to get our other Peter Pan out. And then we will quest and quest. It's looking like a foregone conclusion here. They use Dr. Facilier again. And they drop a Hercules bodyguard. And they are going to quest. We see another stolen scimitar. We will go ahead and get that into play. And then we are just going to quest away here. Get us up to 16. And they drop a Cruella de Vil. And go ahead and quest. And quest with their Hercules. I figured they'd take something out. We see a sudden chill, but... It doesn't matter. That is game on board. So we were able to get a win with our all commons deck in only three games, which is crazy. I was expecting it to take four, five, six games. So if you've stuck around till now, thank you. I really appreciate it. This is something I've really been wanting to do, trying to go from commons only all the way up, adding each rarity to see how many games it's going to take overall to get to that last victory, being able to use any card. So if you have stuck around this long, please consider liking and subscribing for more Lorcana content and look out for our next pour to whale speed run.